Okay, Alex, I hope you, you'll have a chance to look at this while you're in Arizona. You know, we've worked together a long time, and, you know, this is definitely what we're working towards. What you're working towards, and um, this is really the best lesson session that we've had. You know, mechanically, everything looks much more relaxed. You don't look stiff at all. I, I really would like to see your toes pointing in instead of pointing out. That's the only thing that I've, I've been on you about a little bit about. Um, but you're getting your hands back and you're walking, kind of going towards the pitcher, leaving your hands back. So there's there's a lot of momentum building up, and it doesn't look it doesn't look forced. And then when you're waiting on off-speed pitch, you're staying back, well, you know, and quiet. And that's what we want you to do. Just stay back and be quiet. It doesn't look like you're you're pushing like you were so much with your back foot. Just let that leg come under. And let your hands do the work. Whenever you start getting to where you you know you feel like you're getting in trouble, just always try to rely on the principles of the fundamental principles of staying inside the ball, make an adjustment with your back foot, staying inside the ball, being aggressive, it's that fine line between being aggressive and being patient. So your foot really needs to be down just a little bit sooner. Your toe does, I should say. Just a little sooner. Now we're gonna. I'm gonna. I threw a bunch of live arm, uh, uh, live arm tosses to you. Um, but I, I really want you to look at three or four really good cuts. I mean, you you really had several uh, swings that were, and you repeated them over and over again. You did a really good job. And um, you know, when you get out there on the field, I just want you to focus on just focus on the pitcher and trying to square it up. Don't try to do anything with it. Just try to square it up. That pitch was down, and you still hit it. You know, and that's what I'm I'm impressed with is you're still you're swinging at pitches that are not quite perfect pitches any anymore, and you're still squaring them up, and that's a good thing. Now this is the uh, last swing right here, and everything's together, perfect timing. I want you to make sure you keep your left eye staying down into the strike zone and keep it from pulling towards third base. Hey, have a good week.